school I call behavior. Um, talk about arrival, dismissal, and buses. Okay? Arrivals in the morning. If you're a car rider, you get to see my face every morning, 745 to 815, it'll be me. I pretty much see you every day, say good morning. When you get to your car, when you get up there and the car door opens, please have your stuff ready so that you can get out of the car. We have some younger kids that have a, take a long time to get out of the car and get unloaded. Please try your best to get yourself ready so when you open up, everybody knows there's a line behind you. We got a bunch of people trying to get in. Buses. When you get off the bus and car, we got two options. You can go to the cafeteria to eat food. If you're going to eat, you stay in the cafeteria. If you're not, you're going straight to the gym. You guys are in eighth grade and sit on the right side. Now, what we can't have in the morning is anywhere in between. It's either cafeteria or gym. Can't go seventh grade hallway. We don't need to go sixth grade hallway. We don't need to go anywhere else besides gym or cafeteria in the morning. Nice. Very good. Now, let's talk about dismissal. At the end of the day, car rider, do we have any walkers in here? We have a walker announcement. If you're a walker, we need you to walk home on announcement. Now, let's talk about cars. If you are a car rider, in the afternoon, we all have the same objective. We want to go home, we want to keep you safe, and most people are wanting some food, okay? The most efficient way for us to do that is when you're a car rider to be paying attention with your eyes and your ears, okay? Looking for your car and also listening for your name. I do buses in the afternoon. I can hear them calling your name out, okay? Be looking for your car and be listening for your name. And just to conclude, the following students to please come in the office. Stacey Burgess, Carlin Lyon, Jasmine White, Zoe Woodruff, Lily Morgan, please come in the office. Also, I need Maddie Cantrell, please come in the office. Maddie Cantrell, please come in the office. I'm doing buses every day. And you hook up to the bus rider. Okay, bus riders here. How many people are on bus duty at buses every afternoon? It's one, it's me. Okay, I'm by myself 95% of the time. Now we have a good system going. The last two days we've got every bus rider out of here by 340. The only way for that to happen is if our kids are where they're supposed to be. Everybody that rides a bus pretty much knows where their bus picks up every day. I need you, I'm not going to be like elementary and make you line up in single file lines. But you need to be near your loading zone when I call your number. Okay? If you don't know where your loading zone is, come ask me right when you walk out there and I'll get you the right spot. You have any questions about this missile? All right, buses. Um, I think for some reason, a lot of people think riding a bus is a right that everybody has. Riding a bus is a privilege, okay? And what can happen to privileges? They can't be taken away, okay? Here's three things that always work on the bus. If you can get to your seat, stay in it, have your volume under control, and keep your hands to yourself, you're gonna be able to ride the bus all year. Okay, those are three things that are just almost required for that to happen. Now, if that doesn't happen, if we have issues, then we can talk about taking away the bus. I don't want to take anybody's bus away. I would love for you to come to school. If the bus is your best way, I'd love to do it. But we've got to make sure we know how to act when we do that. Now, do you have any questions about arrivals, departures, or buses? Y'all have a great weekend.